Hey! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to bring still images to life using the free plugin Deep Pan. This plugin works with Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Motion. While in this tutorial we will focus on Premiere Pro, the workflow is largely the same across other supported software. So, the first thing I'll do is drag and drop an image onto the timeline. Then, we can scale it to fit if necessary. After that, apply Deep Pan by dragging it from the Video Effects panel onto the image. Let's quickly take a look at the parameters our plugin offers. The first parameter is the Depth Map Source. By default, it's set to Generate in Live Mode. When this option is selected, the plugin automatically generates a depth map for each frame. This option will work well for most users. However, if you want the plugin to run with maximum performance, you can use the second option, which allows you to save the depth map to your hard drive and use it from there. The third option can be used when you already have pre-made depth maps and want to use the plugin with them. Next is the mode. By default, it's set to loop. You can adjust the loop frequency or switch to progress mode. In progress mode, you can animate the animation's progress using keyframes. You can also adjust the animation easing here. Now let's move on to adjusting the animation. On the screen, there are three points, A, B, and Zoom. Points A and B control the direction and amplitude of the displacement. The zoom point adjusts the center of the zoom animation. Now I'll add a bit of depth by slightly increasing the displacement parameter. The optimal value for this is usually around 10 to 20%, depending on the image. Watch how the animation changes depending on how I position points A and B on the screen. Looks good, except for this area in the corner, there's too much distortion. We can fix that by increasing the depth map feather. There we go, much better. As you can see, this plugin works really well with landscape images, but when there's an object close to the camera, you might need to fine tune the settings a bit more carefully. As we can see, there's some distortion around the object in the foreground, there are a couple of things we can do to fix that. The first and most important thing is to place the A and B points along the object. Additionally, we'll lower the displacement value and increase the depth map feather. By balancing these three settings, we can achieve great results with almost any image. Now I'm going to show you how to make this animation feel more dynamic. It's simple. I'll increase the zoom amount and add a bit of camera shake for a subtle handheld look. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy using this free plugin.